some here, three here. So how do you find the max mass of oxygen in a sample of 7.2 grams of, oh, this is aluminum sulfate. So it says here, mass of oxygen in 7.2 grams of Al2SO4 three, right? So how would you solve for the mass of oxygen? And when we talk about oxygen here, this mass of oxygen is this guy here, right? This oxygen here. So what do we have to do first is again, we know our, um, we know our uh, stoichiometry, we know our stoichi stoichiometry, we know moles equals mass over molar mass, right? So in order for us to do that, we have to find the, the mass of our, our oxygen. We have the mass of our oxygen here, which is 7.2 two grams or actually we have a mass of aluminum sulfate right 7.2 grams of aluminum sulfate and what we're going to do is we're going to divide by the molar mass of our uh, aluminum sulfate to get our moles right so for us to do that we have to let's solve for moles first because that's kind of the default what we want to do is we want to always solve for our moles first so in order for us to calculate molar mass let me do this in blue uh, so what we have is we have two aluminum atoms here. So aluminum is 26.982. So we have two aluminums, 26.982 grams per mole. Plus we have here SO43, we have three sulfur, right? Remember we have this, uh, this multiple, this three has to go into here and into here as well, kind of like distributive property. So three sulfurs, we have 32.06. 32.06. Plus, and then we have four times three here is 12 oxygens, right? So we have 12 times, I know the molar mass of oxygen is 16 here. So that's what we have to do for our molar mass. And then for moles, we're going to get a value of, I'm just going to plug this into my calculator. I have 7.2 grams of mass, a uh, mass of aluminum sulfate. And then I'm going to have two times 26.982 plus three times 32.06. Plus, yeah, 3 times 32.06 plus 12 times 16 here, right? Which will give me a molar mass of, this is 342.14. So that's what they did here, right? But they didn't really break it down into steps. So I don't know, really like, because I don't know where am I getting 54, where am I getting 96? Uh, this is a more concise step-by-step -step solution here. So this is, this would be here. This is 7.2 grams over 342.14 grams grams per mole, right? That's fine, we can divide this out and we can say 7.2 divided by 342.14 would give us uh, 0 0.02 here. This is 0 0.021 moles of, this is aluminum, uh, aluminum sulfate. Sweet, so that's fine. <clears throat> so what we do, uh, so what we can do now is we have the moles and we have the molar mass. What we can do is we can, uh, what we can do is we can do a proportion, right? So what we, basically what that means is we can we look at our chemical formula here. It's Al two SO four, SO four three, right? So we have here. So in total we have two aluminum atoms, we have three sulfur atoms, and we have twelve oxygen atoms, right? So all of these make up uh, the aluminum sulfate, right? So we have two, and we can add this together. Two plus three is five, uh, plus 12 is 17, right? We have 17 uh, total uh, total atoms in our, in our, in our, um, in our atom, in our, in our molecule here. So of those, of the 17 atoms, 12 of them is our oxygen. We have 12 of them is our oxygen here. So <clears throat> what we can do is we can, um, what we can do is we can use this 12 as our kind of proportion here. And what we can do is we can multiply, um, multiply 12 to get, um, to get our mass of our oxygen, right? So we have here, <clears throat> again, we have 7.2 grams of aluminum sulfate. And what we can do is we are going to, uh, we are going to uh, solve for our, <clears throat> sorry, so we can solve for our moles, right? So we have here, which was uh, 0 0.02 grams here. And what we can do is we can then multiply that by 12 here, uh, 12, 12, 12, because this is our uh, 12, we have 12 oxygen atoms. We can multiply, and then we can multiply the molar mass 
of that to get the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16, to get our solution here. So, <clears throat> uh, so let me write this out here. So we have here, this is 7. Sorry, wait, hold up. We have, yeah. So we have 7.20. And this is actually what they did here. So I'm just I'm simply just rewriting their solution because their solution is correct. <clears throat> of aluminum sulfate, 7.20 times, I can assume that there's one mole of uh, SO4 minus, in this case, uh, Al2SO4, three divided by the molar mass, which is 342.14. And then we can multiply that by, we have 12, we have 12 oxygens, right, per one mole. And then we can multiply this by 16 grams uh, per mole, right? And that's what we're doing here, per one mole, right? And then we would get, I would plug this basically all into my calculator. We have 7.2 times, we have 1 divided by 342.14 times 12 times 16. I would get 4.04 grams of our solution here. I'm oh, sorry, of oxygen here, right? So we have uh, these grams cancel out. Uh, the moles will also cancel out here. Actually, sorry, grams don't cancel out. Uh, moles and moles cancel out here. And um, we have 12 oxygens here. Oh, this is 12, uh, 12 moles per mole. 12 moles. So these two cancel out. And my or one of my grams cancels out here. And my moles cancel out with this mole here. So I would get 7 point, or sorry, 4.04 uh, grams per oxygen here. So this here is our correct answer. And that's what they got here as well. So I'm going to say here, uh, great solution and analysis.